All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Bio here, and things have been pretty crazy going around here. But uh, I finally got the opportunity to do a full, uh, full-length, legitimate commentary here, if you will. And so, I do apologize for having it been so long, so long since we've met, so long since we've talked. No, um, but uh, yeah, what is going on, guys? So this is going to be some Gears of War Shree gameplay. We're going to be going down probably some King of the Hill. I'm going to assume I've been playing. That's pretty much all I've been playing is King of the Hill. That's the most the most fun game type. The funnerest game type. <laughs> yes. Use incorrect grammar. Awesome. But uh, that is that has been what I've been doing a lot of. I've been playing, I've been playing so much Gears of War 3. That game is freaking amazing. Dedicated servers. Uh, shot recognition is just freaking superb. It's probably on par with Halo Reach. Which is freaking uh, the, the best game I've ever had when it comes to shot recognition. Which, speaking of which, they just patched so now that you can change the option, or you can play in custom games anyways, without reticle bloom, which is orgasmic. I freaking, there's white crap all over my screen. I gotta clean it up now. It's, just, it's a pain in the ass. Dang it, freaking 343 Studios, but it's worth it. <laughs> no, but uh, I will definitely be posting Halo Reach videos sometime down the road, especially once they implement that change into matchmaking where there is no reticle bloom because I've played it and it's just like, what? You mean one-on-one -on -one encounters aren't based on luck? What? You mean skill is actually used? I don't, I don't understand. This, this doesn't make any sense. What the hell? In three, four, three. No. <laughs> Keep wanting to say bungee, but what the hell? Um, so that is that is definitely an interesting change. I will be posting a lot of those videos, but for right now, I'm pretty, I'm pretty stuck on Gears of War three. And then come next week, of course, we'll be posting Battlefield 3, which is going to be awesome because, you know, Battlefield 3 is an exclusive game. Isn't an exclusive game, I'm sorry. I should, probably should em emphasize the int in that word. I think I messed it up a little bit. Anyways, Battlefield 3 is not an exclusive game, so everyone across pretty much all platforms, except for, you know, the Wii and stuff like that, can, uh, can get access to it, which is sweet. I hate how games are, you know, single platform like that, but uh, companies do what they do. But yeah, so I will definitely be posting some Battlefield Shree, and I will be probably live streaming it as well once uh, once the beta hits next Tuesday for me. So definitely expect to see a lot of that. And just right now, it's so awesome in the gaming world because so many good games are coming out in the near future. You got Gears of War 3 just came out, Battlefield 3 next month. You got Assassin's Creed, I believe, comes out sometime this year too, right? I haven't been keeping up on that one too much. I'm not a big fan of the Assassin's Creed series, but I know a lot of people are. So you got that. Got Modern Warfare 3, of course, Halo Anniversary, got Skyrim coming out November 11th, so there's just, just a shitstorm of video games coming out in the near future, so it is definitely, definitely a good time to be a gamer and all of that. Um, but yeah, playing Gears of War 3, been doing a lot of that, and uh, actually, I went, to, I went to a midnight release for Gears of War 3 at Best Buy, and I was going with a friend because I already had a copy of the game, so I was just going to, you know... Uh, hang out with him and uh, see if Best Buy is going to give out any free swag, which they did. I got a got a beanie and a t-shirt, which is pretty sweet. <laughs> it was kind of funny because they didn't buy anything. <laughs> like, hey, you guys buying a copy of the game? I'm just like, I'm with this guy. He's like, okay, here you go. T-shirt, awesome. Yeah, free t-shirt for nothing. So, but anyways, it was kind of funny because I called around some stores in the area to ask if they were hosting a Gears of War 3 tournament because I wanted to find out, uh, you know, hey, maybe if they're having a tournament and I can just win a copy of the game for free, that would be kind of nice. But uh, not a single store that I called was having a tournament, but almost without fail, every single store that I called said, you know, we're not having a Gears of War 3 tournament, but we are having a Modern Warfare 3 one! And I'm just like, dang it. <laughs> not that I'm against Call of Duty or anything, but it's just like, ah, oh, come on, Gears of War 3 wasn't popular enough to have a tournament. I mean, come on, I had like one and a half million pre-orders, something like that, so. I was bummed out. But that's okay, I'm sure I'll be going to a few Modern Warfare tournaments once that game comes out, Modern Warfare 3. But <laughs> it's just kind of funny. And then also when I was actually at Best Buy that night, they didn't. There wasn't too many people there for the midnight release, but it's funny because the average age was probably like 18 or 19. So I was, you know, I was expecting to see at least a few younger people, but I, you know, and then I thought about it. Well, you know, parents don't want to drive their kids out in the middle of the night. Got to realize that uh, I can't drive at that age. So yeah, I thought that would be kind of funny, but I'm, I'm certain once Modern Warfare 3 midnight release comes out, there will definitely be. Definitely be a few uh, kids, younger people, able to convince their parents to drive them out in the middle of the night. <sighs> that reminds me of one story. I, I feel like I'm just going on one tangent after another here, and you guys are just like, what the hell? We don't care. But <laughs> but uh, I used to, back, I don't know, three, four years ago, I used to be decently good at Guitar Hero. And so I'd go out, and if ever there was a tournament nearby, I'd go out and play at them. And I think I won one. 
but there wasn't too many people there. But anyways, uh, I went to this tournament. It was at a local bar, which didn't make any sense to me, you know, because uh, Guitar Hero is going to attract a younger crowd, people that won't even be able to buy drinks, at least in the United States at age 21. we got to be able to drink. But anyways, I went to a bar, and, like, I was doing pretty well. I was beating all these people. And then all of a sudden, I go up against, like, this seven-year-old freaking prodigy. He didn't even look at the screen half the time, and he just bulldozed me. <laughs> I don't know why, thinking of Modern Warfare 3 and the, the kind of demographics that are going to be at a midnight release for that reminded me of that story, but it did, and so there you go. <laughs> ah, dang it. I still have terrible nightmares of that day. <sighs> so, but as you can see, I'm pretty, I'm pretty uh, aloof at the moment. My mind is just all over the place, and I'm a little crazy. Probably should run down and take a nap before I head off to work. But, uh, yeah, so life has been pretty crazy for me. I will try to do more commentaries, more kind of giving you the lowdown with my voice and whatnot. But definitely expect to see some Halo Reach videos once that matchmaking update hits. And probably I'll do a few custom games with some friends until then as well. Because that is just, that game without Reticle Bloom is just so much better. At least to me. I know some people would probably disagree and that's fine. But to me, the game has improved vastly since they removed the Reticle Bloom. And then there's tons of other changes. And I'll probably go over that in, new, in a video later in time. But I've just been having a lot of fun playing that, so, but uh, expect to see that. Uh, Battlefield 3, Modern Warfare 3, once it comes out, pretty much everything on the lineup, I will definitely be playing and showing you guys. But until then, uh, what's a good quote? Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Jim Carrey. Goodbye. I will see you guys later.